Okay, good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Good morning, Ali, Geraldine, Julia, Peter, lots of other people coming through the doors as well. Welcome back to the Social Hub. We're very excited this morning. We've got guests again, me and the two Stuarts. I've got it easy <laughs> for the second event um, in a row. Um, we're very excited to have the team from Real Sam with us. Um, we're going to be leading the demonstrations and talking about their existing products and some new products um, that are going to soon to be released. So we're very excited to have you here. And we've got 33 people in the room already. So as always, we'll give it a few minutes and let any any latecomers um, arrive. Good. So good morning, Natasha. Good morning, Louise. Hi. Nice welcome. to see you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, you're very, very welcome. Um, and we've got obviously the two Stuarts. Morning, the two Stuarts. How are you? Morning, Sam. We're good, thank you. Well, I'm good, thank you. Yeah. Hope, hope the other Stuart is too. Yeah, yeah. I was saying to um, Sam when I, I came on. I'm actually on holiday at the moment, so this is this is sheer dedication that I'm I'm actually doing this. You know, yeah. from holiday. I'm only kidding. I, I, I love doing these. So, uh, so yeah, it's great to be here to hear about um, in your pocket as well. So, Stuart, is... the, que the question I just have to ask: Are you sitting on a beach? Or are you are you are you sitting at home safely? I'm sitting at home, but I'm imagining myself on, yeah, a, on, beach, a, a beach, on a sunny so beach. It's yeah. the best so, I can do, I'm afraid. Hopefully look, we'll there's, be on a sunny beach next year. There's some great beaches in Fife, Stuart. I mean, you know, it's uh, yeah. probably be a bit, a little bit might cold a bit this time of year, chilly. won't it? Well, um, yeah, you could have a, a nice brisk walk on a beach this morning. Might be very nice, would it? Yeah, I'm actually just imagining me and my guide dog, Ron, running, well, Ron running along Kinghorn Beach. He absolutely loves a, a place called Kinghorn in uh, Fife, and there's a beach there that he, he absolutely adores. So, yeah, that, that'll do. Just like Baywatch, Stuart, eh? <laughs> yeah, let's not go there. That's uh, <laughs> David Hasselhoff. Um, yeah, um, well, we've got a nice mix of, of locations today anyway. We've got Stuart up in Fife, we've got... Stuart L over in Dublin. We've got Natasha down in Peterborough and Louise in London as well. So we've got, um, we're covering all bases. Um, we've got 40 people arriving. We've had over 80 people um, registered for this session, which is fantastic. Um, and we do always expect um, slightly less uh, to attend um, as people do often catch up on YouTube after the session. Um, so yeah, please do. If you can't stay for the whole session as well, fear not, um, you can catch up. With the recording after the session good so before we kick off just formalities um get them out of the way quickly so uh welcome everyone to another social obsession if this is your first uh event uh welcome um these sessions have been running now since march of 2020 since the uh, the start of the first lockdown and um, they've been running every two weeks um and yeah we're thrilled to have you all here um they've been developing and building going from strength to strength and um and we're really excited this week to have the team from real sam with us and they're going to be talking about in your pocket which is a fully voice controlled mobile phone um which is is uh, in partnership with the rnib and o2 as well and they're also going to be talking about a new product which i'll let i'll let the team um i'll let natasha and louise talk about and announce as well um Good, and obviously you have me and the two Stuarts. So I'm Sam from Sight and Sound Technology. We have Stuart and we have uh, Stuart Lawler and Stuart Beveridge from Seascape up in up in Fife. Um, and we'll be here to answer any any questions and, and to assist where necessary, but I'm sure we won't be needed. Um, good, so throughout the session, everyone, um, please use the facilities. So we've got the chat box down um, at the bottom of your screens there. Um, if you're using a Windows machine, Alton H will open the chat box. Please put any questions comments observations anything um any input please pop it in there and we'll monitor that throughout the session and we'll um we'll ask um natasha and louise any questions as we go um command and h on a mac um will also activate the uh, the chat box if you want to raise your virtual hand alt and y on a windows machine command and y on a mac um and we can unmute you and allow you to uh, voice your questions um, at an appropriate time. And Louise and Natasha, just give us a nod or let us know when there's an appropriate time to stop for questions. 
Good. Right. That's all the boring stuff out of the way. Um, good. So um, what we'll do uh, now, we'll hand over to the, to the, to the um, Real Sam team and we'll let you crack on with your presentation. Thank you for joining us. Brilliant. Well, lovely to meet you all. Thanks for having us. Um, we are very excited to be here today because we're able to talk to you about our existing product in your pocket, but also you're one of the first groups to get a demonstration of our new smart speaker solution, which hasn't actually launched yet in the UK. We're about probably three weeks away from that. So um, it is a beta test version that we've got to show you today, but um, we're certainly looking forward to giving you more background on that. So Real Sam is an Australian owned business. So we're actually headquartered in, in Melbourne. Um, and that's where our development team are based. Uh, we work out of three countries right now. So Australia, where we partner with Vision Australia, the, the leading charity um, for people with sight loss. We're in obviously in the UK and we've been here since 2017 um, and originally brought the In Your Pocket phone to market in partnership with the RNIB and O2. And we still work in partnership with both of those organizations very closely. And we also work in the US where we um, are producing technology solutions for the library of um, print disabled for the US uh, Congress. So um, quite a large um, relationship over there as well. Um, but the UK is our, our largest, our largest um, market and, and where we, we're actively here as a team. So we have a customer support team based in Peterborough. Um, Tash is based in Peterborough um, along with four others. Um, in, in sales and customer service and support. Um, and really what we do every day is work very closely with charities to, to try and find out more about the sight loss community and how we can build products that, that add value. So um, In Your Pocket, as I mentioned, has been there since 2017. And the smart speaker is something that we're launching onto Google, um, Google devices, so like this one here. Um, and we're essentially bringing um, a one-stop shop to smart speakers. So we currently on In Your Pocket have audio libraries of, of books, of newspapers, podcasts. Um, and what we're bringing onto the smart, smart speakers sorry, is much of that content, but also quite uniquely, we've been inviting charities and other sight loss organizations to post their information through us. Obviously, in the last 12 months, organisations have had to change the way that they've been working. They've not been able to be out in communities, um, meeting people face to face. Sessions like today have, have emerged in the last 12 months where we've needed to move into um, digital forums and online platforms to, to meet each other. Um, and we're responding really to that and helping these organisations to, to host their information on speakers. Um, because we were getting the feedback that in many cases it was actually quite hard for people to do that on their own. So um, we've got four or five major charities that have come on board with us for launch. That includes Blind Veterans UK, Galloway's, um, Henshaw's. We've brought on content from the RNIB, um, from Vision Australia, and we're just finalising one of the largest um, audiobook libraries for blind people to come on board with us for launch as well so I won't say who they are until that's all, all done and dusted but it does mean that we'll have a, a product that we can bring to market to complement in your pocket next month um, the, we're aware as well that within your pocket it, it is a mobile phone and, and people do sign up to a mobile phone contract which means that in some cases um, people have already got a device that, that they, they're quite happy with. They, they like perhaps the entertainment functionality that we have or some of the assistive support that we can provide through In Your Pocket. Um, but there is probably a space in the market for a, a sister product that is slightly more affordable as well. So the speaker solution, um, the launch price for it will be £19.95 for 12 months. Um, and obviously that will include a lot of that entertainment content that we were talking about as well. So... Um, that's the background to the speaker. Our, our launch date is the, the 4th of March for the UK. Um, and we're currently just in a process where we're, um, we're actually running a, a final beta test process. Um, so we've got people from charities and, and existing customers um, giving us feedback on, on how it works and, and gearing up to that launch. So that's all really exciting for us. Um, 
and it'll be available to order on our website where we've got quite a large media launch that we're, we're doing in that first week of March as well. Tash, do you want to talk about In Your Pocket? And I'll come back and demonstrate the, um, the speaker at the very end, because I think a lot yes, of the functionality is the same. And then I can come back and show the, the charity information as well. Yes, of course. No problem. One second. Give me a sec while I wake up. Maybe a second now. Okay, right. So this is In Your Pocket. So it's a communications, entertainment and assistance device. And it's designed for somebody of little or no sight. And it's designed for the visually impaired by the visually impaired. Um, the device is a smartphone, as you can see. Um, it's the Samsung X Cover 4S. Um, and you don't have to be tech savvy to use In Your Pocket. It's a one touch button and voice activated phone for everything. So on the bottom of the screen, there is a button, as you can see here, the, the raised rugged bar here. And um, we call this the talk button. And how you use your pocket is you simply press the talk button, wait for the beep and say what you want to say. So if we got, for example, if I wanted to read the Guardian newspaper, I would do that, press the talk button, wait for the beep and say, read me the Guardian, which I'll just demonstrate now. Read me the Guardian. have a new message. Say, read messages to read. This is the Guardian of today, Natasha. There are 72 unread articles in the news section. Headlines. 1. Dirty air may have big impact on fertility. 2. Damien Hirsty like it when people love my art. So it's listed in all the headlines and to choose a headline I just simply um, say number one or number two and number three or whatever and then it will read out read it out to you so I'll just demonstrate that sorry about this continue we were here there are 72 unread articles in the news section headlines one dirty air may have big impact on fertility two Damien Hirsty like it when people love my art and when they hate it. Three, COVID spreading most in children as overall length. That one. Dirty air may have big impact on fertility. Damien Carrington, environment editor. Exposure to air pollution significantly increases the risk of infertility. According Cancel. So that's how you would read a newspaper. But in, when you're in the newspaper, you can search for articles. You can say, find me articles on Brexit or find me articles on coronavirus or list sections, or you can jump forward and jump back minutes um, in, the, in the article as well. So with regards to the communication features. Okay. Searching for articles about Greek. Cancel. No problem. Let's start again. So with regards to the communication features of any pocket all calls and texts to when the UK landline or mobile number is unlimited, which means that you can call and text your family and friends all day, every day, doesn't cost you any extra um, um, from the package. Um, and we also have an emergency assistance button on the phone. So the user can assign an, an uh, assistance person to their phone, one or multiple people. And when they press the um, assistance button on the on the right hand side three times it will send a text message to the um, assistance person um, stating the pinpointed location of where the user is to offer help um, with regards to the entertainment features of your pocket you have access to thousands of talking books through several libraries RNIB is the main library um, but the other library services that are available on your pocket are Calibre, Torch Trust, Project Gutenberg and LibriVox you also have access to all the UK national newspapers from the RNIB uh, news agent content. Um, so for example, um, if I wanted to read the Guardian newspaper, as, as, I, as I explained before, you just press the talk button and say, read me the Guardian. Um, you have access to thousands of pre-recorded podcasts from around the world, including the BBC stations in the UK. So I'll just demonstrate how to um, search for a pod podcast. So, Play me the arches. Podcasts with title The Arches. Two to go. One. 
The Archers from BBC 2. The Archers on Lovers from BBC. Select one or say, go back to... Number two. Right. I have many episodes of The Archers on Lovers. One from four days ago. Two from 11 days ago. Three. Number one. Okay, playing. BBC Sounds, music, radio, podcasts. You're listening to The Archer's Omnibus from BBC Radio 4. Cancel. So that's the famous music for, for the archers at the beginning of the, of, the, um, of the podcast. So you also have access to hundreds of UK, um, or hundreds of magazines, sorry, um, from the news agent, um, RNIB news agent content, and also um, access to hundreds of UK internet radio stations to so keep you well entertained, especially with obviously being in the lockdown. So I'll just demonstrate how to play a radio station. So... Oops. Play radio station Kiss London. Listing radios to select from. First five of quite a few. One, Kiss London from Greater London to Kiss Fred. That one. Great playing Kiss Fresh. Cancel. So that's no how you. Problem. Let's start again. Thank you, In the Pocket. That's how you play a radio station. So, on the assistance features of In Your Pocket, you can ask In Your Pocket things like, "What is the time?" Or if you're going out about and you want to plan a journey, you want to know the weather forecast, you can actually ask the weather in your region. So you can say, what's the weather in Peterborough, for example? Um, you can also set a reminder as well. So you can say, if you need a reminder to turn the oven off in 20 minutes, you can press the talk button and say, remind me in 20 minutes to turn the oven off. So in 20 minutes time, it will, it will announce um, the, the reminder and it will keep, um, a, um, sorry, repeating um, every um, few seconds, uh, 10 seconds until up to five minutes until you actually just press the talk button to cancel the reminder. So just set a reminder, it's very simple. You just press the talk button and say, set reminder in 20 minutes to turn the oven off. A reminder has been set for 20 minutes. Okay, I can see um, quickly from the, um, from the questions. And um, one of the questions was, um, why do you say that one? Well, you have a choice. So when it is reading the, um, the list out, you can either say number one, number two, number three, or if it's the last one, like number three, and that's the last one that's announced, you can just say that one. So there's, um, and in your pocket, we'll, we'll choose that, that one for you. Um, we've also got the um, Be My Eyes functionality on any pocket. Um, and what Be My Eyes does, it connects the user to a, to a volunteer via video call to help the user um, um, with anything they, they may need help with if they don't have a sighted assistance person around. And it also gives them um, more independence. So um, to use Be My Eyes, you just simply press the talk button and say, Be My Eyes. It will connect you to the next volunteer um, and then by video call, and then the user just points the camera to what they want help with. It might be um, something like they might need help with finding the ham in the fridge, or how to use the dials on a washing machine, or if they're in a supermarket and they need help with reading the labels on, uh, on, the, on the food food labels, or even in a restaurant to help with um, reading the menu in a restaurant. And so, um, like I said, to, to use Be My Eyes, you just press the talk button and say, Be My Eyes. Um, I can't demonstrate that because it's a, it's a live phone um, and it will connect me with a volunteer, but um, that's how you use it. So, and um, also in your pocket doubles up as a, as a phone. Um, so to call someone, you just simply press the talk button and say, call Natasha, which I'll demonstrate now. So call Natasha. Calling Natasha. 
press power to cancel a talk to toggle speaker mode. So it's um, now calling me, as you can see. To end the call, you just simply press the power button once. Okay, to end the call. was terminated. So um, texting is just as easy. So if I wanted to send a text message, I'll just demonstrate that now. So you press the talk button and say, send text message to Natasha. What should the text message say? Hi, Mum, I'll be home in 20 minutes. Get the kettle on. Your text Thanks. message to Natasha says, Hi, Mum, I'll be home in 20 minutes. Would you like to send it? Yes. Message sent. Sending message. So you can hear on my, on my, on my private phone that I've received the message. And it's announced that it's, it's sent the message. So any pocket is designed for when the user receives it. It's already set up for them. So it will, there's no complicated setup processes. They'll receive in the box um, the any pocket device with a charger and plug, standard charger and plug, and a standard set of headphones. And um, they will also receive some quick reference guide instructions in the in the box. And there will also be a live O2 SIM card already inserted. And then with the day of the user receiving any pocket, they will receive a phone call from our customer services team to support them um, um, over the phone support for as long as they need us. It's all part of the package. There's no extra costs or hidden charges. There is a, a user guide available on any pocket audio format for the user. So you just press the button and say user guide. And it's also um, available in sighted format for a site assistance person. Um, so prices start at $25.99 a month. Um, that's for an allowance of three gigabytes of mobile data. And the, and the um, um, plans are over a two year period. And that's more suited for those people who have internet at home um, and they won't need as much data. Um, and then we've got the 10 gigabyte plan per month, which is $29.99 per month. And you can either pay up front on a monthly subscription or you can pay for the two years up front. We're also um, doing a, a promotion that if anyone who orders any pocket in the month of February, and they will be receive a free magnetic charger worth twelve pounds. All they need to do is quote sight, um, um, sight and sound, and this is what the magnetic charger looks like. Um, and so, what the magnetic charger does is that um, at the end of the cable there is a pin, and that pin um, acts as a magnet, and that sits in the charging port of the phone. And so, when you want to charge the phone, you just simply um, connect, snap the um, end of the cable, which is the other magnet, to the actual charging port magnet, and then it will announce charging. And then to disconnect it from charge, you just pull the magnet um, cable away and it will announce disconnected from charge. Um, so yeah, so that's, um, if it, it's, ordering is very simple. Um, you can either order over the phone um, and speak to one of our friendly team um, if you're lucky, you'll get me. Um, and the, the number to order is 01733 514612. Or you can order over the website, which is www.inyourpocket.net. Um, and um, we're also um, looking for organisations to partner up with us. Um, if you're interested, it'd be great to, to, to contact um, us. Um, you can either email natasha at realsam.co.uk or call our inquiries line. Um, and so that completes the de little demonstration for today, but I just want to end up that on just one last thing that I'm going to ask in your pocket. How do you have fun? I'm satisfied just chatting to you. Oh, and I joined a book group. We yeah. meet on Wednesdays something to make you laugh. Thank you for listening. I hope you're still all awake. Um, and I'll pass you back to Louise now. Thank you. Thank you, Tash. Um, 
I'm not sure if we mentioned, did we go through all of the pricing and the data plans? So when you sign up to it in your pocket, there's, you can either pay month to month or you can pay up front. Yes. Um, and I noticed there was a question in here about the, um, the data allowance. So um, we have either a, a three gigabyte plan or a 10 gigabyte plan. Um, so essentially yeah. one enables you to essentially almost have more data than you could ever possibly use. Um, and that's maybe useful if someone doesn't have Wi-Fi in their home um, or the three gigabyte one. That's really a much, I guess, much more normal amount, assuming that someone has Wi-Fi at home um, and they may be using the phone out and about um, quite a bit as well. Um, if you're streaming books all day long, then um, we would recommend that you're doing that through through Wi-Fi um, just because it obviously does chip away at, at a, a data allowance if you're using um, that at home um, but yeah you essentially can pay either $25.99 a month for the three gigabyte plan or $29.99 a month for the 10 gigabyte plan or you can pay upfront for, for both of those options as well. Um, so I think Michael you asked the question about the, the data limit so hopefully that, that answers that question for you. Um, we don't actually have any app for editing videos within In Your Pocket. So the way In Your Pocket works is that we, we've put our software into the Android phone, which is the Samsung Galaxy X cover handset um, at the moment. Um, and what we have done is build in the features that our customers have told us are most valuable to them. So also through In Your Pocket, you can give us feedback. So you can press the talk button and, and press feedback and um, that creates a message that comes through to our customer support team. And then once a week, we consolidate all of that feedback and we sit down with our development team and, and we share that and we prioritize it and we, we build in features into to each release that are entirely based on customer needs. So I think that's quite a unique feature of how, how we work in that we, we really do take on board that customer feedback. Um, but it does mean that the phone doesn't have maybe all of the features that you would see on a, a standard phone. So we don't have, um, you know, a touch screen where you can press apps and, and connect into YouTube. But as more and more requests do come through, we do build out um, a prioritization list. And we use that, as I mentioned, to, um, to build new features. So, um, yeah, we don't, we don't have that editing video function that I think has been asked. And WhatsApp is one that... We, we definitely do have on our, our priority list, um, but it's not something that's on the, on the phone as it stands today. Louise and Natasha, yeah, are you happy to pause for a few minutes just to, to go through a few more of the questions before we move yeah. on to the speaker? Is that, is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Oh, great, great. Well, thank you so far. It's a really, really interesting and brilliant demonstration as well, Natasha. Um, yeah, we've got lots of uh, comments and questions in, in the chat box. Um, so we've answered... There's a few questions about tech specs, uh, you know, data um, uh, storage as well. Do, do, is there a sort of storage limit on on that each handset, the two handsets that you offer? Is there built-in storage on 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 the device? Do you want to answer? Shall I answer that, Louise? You answer it. Okay. So nothing is stored on the phone. Everything's stored in the cloud above your head. Um, that's the easiest way to explain it. So inside yeah. the actual phone is an SD card, um, and for example, if you want to read a book, um, just telling you the background of what happens in the background. Um, you're reading the book and 10 minutes of the, 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 um, the, the um, book downloads onto the SD card in the phone. And once that 10 minutes is, is finished, it goes back up into the cloud and it downloads another 10 minutes. So it's, it's a seamless up and down um, um, uh, process when you read the book so that happens in the background but obviously when you're listening to the book you you know you, you won't know that's happening so uh, you know that, that is how we solve um um the memory um situation on on the phone so you'll never your phone will never you know um pause or or get in, um interference etc because it's all in the stored in the cloud above your head i hope i've explained that um so simply but, but, no that's great but you can store contact contact onto the sd card is that right no yeah. so so you, the contacts are stored in the cloud as well oh, okay. you have an account so every every customer has a, a, a um 
call it like a um, an internet account where yep. they can log in or um, a loved one can log in remotely and add and edit contact names and numbers. And so um, all the contacts are stored in the cloud above your head as well. I see. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, and Peter's asked, hi, Peter, from Kent, Kent Associate Association for the Blind. Um, we might have already answered this, but uh, Peter's asked if there's any plans to add sort of a, a note-taking um, app or feature that you can make quick quick notes um, on, on the device. Is that something? So, well, we have the reminders functionality at the moment, um, but we don't have any note-taking functionality. So you, you can set a reminder and say, remind me in 72 hours, um, I need to make a doctor's appointment, for example. Um, we're constantly developing all the time. That is one of the things that we, that, you know, um, what the developers are working on. But there's there's lots of requests, so we have to um, work on what's the most um, most important, um, and that's not added at the moment. But like I said, hopefully in the future will be it'll be added. Great. Yeah, and just to maybe build on Tasha's point about you know how we've done that in the last twelve months. So. Zoom, for example, was something that we've added this year or in the last 12 months because we um, obviously were able to see very clearly that there was a need for people to be able to move into online um, meetings. And so we built out um, an ability for people to join a Zoom call through In Your Pocket. Um, and we use that same customer portal where we can essentially create contacts for Zoom meetings um, and enable people to have multiple Zoom meetings set up within their phone. So that that has been very useful. Only in the last two weeks, we've built another feature whereby we were aware that people were starting to get text messages inviting them for COVID vaccinations. Um, within those messages was a link to click through to a website. Now, obviously, if we're only displaying messages as audio messages, um, it makes it impossible for somebody to click through on a link to a, um, a website to book their COVID jab. Um, so we've built a message forwarding feature and we did that really quickly because essentially that was high priority. Um, and so now an in your pocket customer who receives that message or any message that has an embedded link can just use the, the uh, messaging feature the way Tash described it to say forward message. And that message can be forwarded to someone else who is able to um, use their phone to, to click through. So if they've got a loved one that um, offers that support. so. Um, that's just two examples this year um, and it has probably meant because we've had to pivot to responding to, to the way we're all living right now some of these things like maybe Spotify the uh, entertainment features have um, been deprioritized so that we can focus on the things that are truly going to make a difference to the most people so right now that's really helpful um so just just this is mainly for me really but mm -hmm. um and apologies if you've already answered this so does the user have control over um, what apps they can download? So do they, as it was, it's an Android device, so do they have control of the, the, the Google Play Store or are all the apps and features pre-downloaded pre uh, onto the device when, they, when it arrives? Is that right? Um, so the... So if, if you think of it, the In Your Pocket software is locked down software on the device. So you can't go into the Android part of the phone. So you, you can only use the functions that are available on In Your Pocket. And it's predominantly, um, you know, media device to listen to newspapers, books, podcasts, magazines. So, um, for example, if you wanted to use WhatsApp, if WhatsApp functionality is not on the In Your Pocket software, you won't be able to access WhatsApp. Um, that's um, how it works. So if you think of it as it's locked down in your pocket software on the device and you're not able to go into the Android part of the phone. Okay. No, that's that's helpful. No, so I, I suppose my understanding is, you know, in in my pocket, you know, it's a streamlined device that that, that has the sort of the, the priority features for somebody that's visually impaired. Um, yeah, so it, 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 that's, that's really helpful. Thank you. So in your pocket software is more than an app. It's not an app that's downloaded onto a phone. It's it's fully developed software. Yeah, it's a platform. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a platform. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Now that's 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 helpful. There's a few questions about sort of Play Store, various apps. So hope, hopefully that clears it up uh, for, for everybody. A um, couple of quick questions. Um, will will um, 
in your pocket, read out your text messages um, uh, aloud. Yes. yes. So when you get a text message, you'll alert that you have a text message the next time you interact with the phone. So it will say you have a text message from Natasha, or it will say you have a text message from 01733 if you don't have that contact um, name in your phone. So to read the message is very easy. You just press the talk button and say read messages, and then it will read it out to you. So it will read a list of messages. So, for example, it will say number one, a message from O2, number two, a message from, from Auntie Sue. And so to select a message, you would just press the talk button and say um, number one or number two. Um, once you've, and then it will read the text message out to you. At the end, it will say, what do you want to do? Do you want to reply, edit or delete? So if you want to reply, you press the talk button and say reply. And then it will ask you to speak the text message. And then when you're happy with that, you just press the talk button and say send. Excellent. Thank you. I'll close that up. Um, I'm going to fire these ones at you because with the sort of building up um, in the chat box. Um, email, Bluetooth, calendar, and orientation features. Are yes, they included so yet or will they maybe maybe to come or? Emails not included at the moment. Okay. Um, that's still in development. Bluetooth it is available. Um, so you can actually connect your device to a Bluetooth speaker. Um, so um, there's lots of Bluetooth speakers out there. We, we recommend a, a, um, a speaker that we know that works and it's called the JBL speaker. You can, they're already available on eBay or YouTube, um, YouTube eBay or Amazon. Yeah, yeah, they, yes. There you go. I use them at presentation, I use them at yeah, exhibitions. And to connect um, to Bluetooth speakers, very easy. You just press the talk button and say, um, uh, enable Bluetooth. And then once you've enabled Bluetooth, um, to disable it, you just simply press the talk button and say, disable Bluetooth. Um, can you just remind me of the other ones? So there was email, Bluetooth. Email, Bluetooth, uh, calendar. Does it have a built-in calendar? Um, not at the moment, but we do have um, the um, reminders functionality, yep. which can help a bit, a bit with, with the calendar situation. Yep. And then um, Sharon has asked about, does it have sort of a, a maps or orientation, Google Maps we, equivalent? Oh, we have a locations feature functionality. Um, it's a bit difficult to actually um, demonstrate that when you're working from home. But the locations feature, you can actually record landmarks in your phone. So, for example, you're going on a journey from a walk from home to the local Tesco's Extra. So on that journey, you will record landmarks in your phone. So you, you say turn on locations and you'll get to an overhanging branch, for example. So you, then you would record the location um, of the overhanging branch and then um, the red letter box or the crossing in the road until he all the landmarks so i do apologize um my phone's reminding me 20 minutes to turn the oven off <laughs> um sorry yeah so once you've recorded those landmarks turn the oven off <laughs> reminder stopped thank you what's in the oven natasha um um uh, um Cinnamon swells. Oh, okay, excellent. It's my favourite. Right. Right. Thank you. Good. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> where were we? Yes. So, once you've recorded those landmarks in your phone, the next time you go on that journey, it will then start announcing. And you turn the location features on. It will then start announcing um, the the landmarks. So, when you get to to, it will say two hundred yards in front of you, the red letter box, and so on, and so forth. So, it will announce it as you're approaching. It will announce it as you're passing it. And that's obviously an aid to um, a guide dog. So, for example, if you live in the countryside um, and you go for lots of walks and there's a fork in the, the, foot, the footpath, the guide dog necessarily might not be able to guide you to part the, the fork in the, in, the, in the footpath, but in your pocket can, because it can announce and tell you, turn right at the fork instead of turning left, so on and so forth. So yes, that's how the location features work. Right. In pocket. Yeah, it's really handy actually, at, um, Natasha. You know, it's as you say, it's like PO at a, you know a point of interest. You know, putting something in there. If anybody remembers the old um, GPS systems, the old specialist GPS systems, it's a bit like that. Yes. And uh, another good feature, Natasha. I'm sure it's still in the in your pocket. You could say to it, 
um, and it's really accurate. You could say, where am I? And yes, it would actually can. tell you. So again, you know, that could just be useful for a, a, a wee bit of orientation as well. You know, it's not full, a, a full-blown orientation system, but what it does, it does it really, really well. Yes. I was I was just going to bring you in, actually, Stuart. I'm glad you've you've popped up. Um, <laughs> but just just before we move on, um, I, I'd be interested to know how have the Seascape service users um, have the, have they sort of done got got, got on along with with in your pocket? Yeah, I, I'll just very briefly tell you about these then, because we've had um, actually our own device thanks to funding um, for quite a while, and they were to be honest with you, they were going like hotcakes. Um, so. Um, when I, I teach people, obviously I teach people loads of different devices and when I'm doing an assessment with them, I'm, I'm showing people, um, you know, all the different iPhones, you know, specialist phones, etc. And some people are, they're really just not getting the touch screen, that they're just not getting the, um, you know, the, the, the buttons and, and things. And then as soon as I, I show them this in your pocket with, um, you know, one button, Right, press that and speak to it and just say, what's the time to it? And then right away, you know, I, I, if I could see, I'd be able to see their, the, the whole body posture changing. You know, it's, yes. oh, I like that. And Natasha knows exactly what I, I mean, I think. Um, so, yeah, they, they have been, they, they were honestly going like hotcakes. I was out doing, I've been out doing home demonstrations, obviously, before lockdown. And it, it tends to be... Um, even even younger people, you know, I met somebody that was just in her thirties, and she just even couldn't even cope with something like a synaptic Sam, and she just she went mm. for this right away. She, but she had a lot of, you know, there was other, you know, there was learning difficulties involved and things there. But that's where this thing comes into its own. And then again, I've, I've actually worked with someone who is absolutely loving it because if, if you don't mind, Natasha, what you a, a, one thing you possibly missed was that it can add contacts as well um, through voice and things like Siri can't do that yes. so you know yeah. just say add a contact it takes you through it step by step and um, I taught someone to use it over the phone who had MS and she was just cracking up with the iPhones and Siri because she couldn't add contacts very important feature and now she's using an in your pocket so um, it definitely has huge benefits to a, a number of people with a, a number of different um, disabilities or conditions, yeah? Yes. Great. Thank, thank you, you for that. Stuart. Thank you, uh, Stuart. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, and then lastly, just before we move on, um, Deirdre's asked, and this will actually be a good segue to chat about um, availability of the phone. Um, Deirdre's asked, um, does it have Irish newspapers um, and radio times um, etc. So, could you, um, could you fill it in? I'm not too. Uh, the, I think we should all... maybe check, shall we? Yeah, because we yeah. actually pull from um, global libraries, and so it's hard for us to know exactly what publications. But we can actually ask what it has from a certain area. So. Yes, oh, okay. yeah. I mean, I know the UK national out. newspapers, and it's all the content, um, news agent content that RNIB provide. So, right. if RNIB provide it, then it's definitely available on any pocket. Um, I do have a list of um, newspapers and magazines that are available, okay. um, of which um, I, ca I can't access the list at the moment. No, that's but, fine. Um, we, can, we can find out for you then, Deirdre. Um, yeah. But in terms of availability of the phone, um, I'm right in thinking it. At the moment, the phone isn't available in the Republic of Ireland. Is that right? I, but, I can probably answer this as well, Sam. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in relation to the Irish market. So it, it's not available here at the moment. Um, because the carrier, uh, and I know there was some, a little bit of work done on this a couple of years ago to explore this, and we couldn't at the time find a carrier who yes. was prepared to take it on. Uh, that doesn't mean to say that it couldn't happen, I'm sure, in the future. Great. Yeah, yes. I think it's certainly in our plans to look at whether we can have um, a version that isn't tied to mm -hmm. one particular um, telecommunications provider. Um, so whether that's a SIM free option or, or not. So that's in, our, I guess, our longer term horizon that we certainly are looking at that right now, which would enable us to, to make In Your Pocket available in the Republic. Um, we also are looking at the speaker option. And as I mentioned that, we just haven't launched it yet. And we're finalizing all of our licensing agreements, but we certainly do see that as something that we could bring to the Irish market as well. So 
I think it's a watch this space over the next three months or so because yes, um yeah you're you're in our sights <laughs> we're just not there yet yeah. great thank you now I am conscious that, that we we still have lots to explore today so we'll 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 move on um Tracy has just said um, she can't praise this device enough. It's brilliant. So lots of uh, oh, that's fantastic. yeah. Thanks, thanks, Tracy. Um, nice to have some positive comments in the chat box as, as well. Good. So yeah, we'll let you uh, crack on and, and talk about the exciting new smart speaker. Yeah. So I won't probably do too much more of a demonstration because the, the real thing for us is a lot of what we have on in your pocket is now being brought over to um, the smart speaker. So. Um, as I mentioned, the entertainment libraries, the podcasts, the, um, some of the features around, you know, what time is it, for example, you can ask that of the smart speaker in the same way as you can um, in your pocket. Um, but a feature that is brand new and unique that we've built is this idea that we're allowing organisations and, and other groups to host their information through us, um, which means that we're going to be adding to that all the time and we've got three or four major charities on there right now so i'll just show you how that bit works so this is just your regular google home um smart speaker um, this is the version that we're launching first um, and we're moving on to the amazon alexa platform um soon after so our hope is that the amazon version is in the marketplace um at the start of the summer um, you'll notice I'm being a bit vague on my dates <laughs> because I'm I'm working with a development team who've got a lot of things happening simultaneously. Um, but I can just say to it, hey Google, talk to real sound. Speaker release January 18th. For some reason that hasn't gone quite as it should do. Let me start again. Hey Google, cancel. Hey Google, talk to real Sam. Speaker release January 18th. Maybe I'll just have to check the version that I'm on. It's not typical. It was working this morning. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't catch that. And Can now, you try again? I'm glad that I'm not the only person that this that this happens to. <laughs> yeah, it worked first thing this morning and then... Sorry, I didn't catch that. Can you try again? Hey Google, talk to real Sam. Sorry, I still didn't catch that. The app will now quit. Please try the app again. Maybe it's my device. Hey Google, talk to real Sam. This is real Sam service UK speaker, version the 13th of February, 2021. Speaker release January 18th. Louise, you can now ask, for instance, read me a book or user guide. Tell me about all you have. These are all sources of information matching your request. Select an item. One, Blind Veterans UK. Two, Galloway Society for the Blind. Three, Henshaws. Say a number or words from the options. Three. These contents are provided by Henshaws, a Northern English charity supporting people living with sight loss and a range of other disabilities to go beyond expectations. Select an item. 1. Presentation of Henshaws. 2. Henshaws Hello Newsletter Winter 2020. 3. Henshaws Sound Advices. Say a number or words from the options. 3. Browsing Henshaws Sound Advices. Listing items. First five of eight. One, 12 gift ideas for visually impaired people. Two, COVID-19 app. Three, communicating with a visually impaired child. Four, managing money. Five, tactile paving. Say a number or words from the options or say next to advance. You can also say jump forward or backwards a number. Four. You selected managing money. Tips from Henshaw's Knowledge Village on managing your money. This is Real Sam Service UK Speaker, hey version the 13th of February 2021. Hey Google. Speaker release. Cancel. I'm going to stop 
stop playing with my test version now because, as you can see, I am shop assistant or asking a stranger for help with their PIN number at a cash point, both of which can be dangerous. Hey, Google. Cancel. But this is the, the beta version, isn't it? It is uh, the beta version. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, don't demonstrate beta technology on a presentation. <laughs> I think this is the moral of that story. <laughs> because, um, yeah, we're about two or three weeks away. We're still, as I said, testing through all the final content to make sure everything runs as smoothly as it needs to do. Um, but as I said, we're bringing on a number of charity partners, making it easy to find their information in an audio format. So. Um, you don't need to be going to lots of people's different websites and we're adding lots of new podcast content on there so things like InfoShare are on there um, RLIB podcast BBC podcasts and you can search like Tash demonstrated for um, subject areas so if you were looking for podcasts about coronavirus I'm sure everyone's sick of that subject but if you did want to hear <laughs> podcasts about coronavirus you could find them within that um, it works like, I guess, an app or a skill, um, an action as they're called across different um, smart speakers. So instead of you having to go and enable lots of different organizations, individual um, skills, we're, we're bringing all of that information into one place. So you don't need the, you know, the Galloway separate one or the Amazon sex, the, sorry, guide dog separate one. Um, our vision is really that we're bringing everything into one place to make it really easy for the user. Um, and also bring obviously things like audio libraries into a smart speaker environment because they, they don't currently exist in that way without having to pay for Audible or something like that. So um, that's the vision. That's obviously the, the beta version and uh, it's only going to improve in, in the next couple of weeks um, in the run up to our launch. We've got developers working in uh, two time zones to, to get this up and running by early March. It's, people in Italy and people in Melbourne. So we're, <laughs> yeah, we're all hands on deck building that right now. Nice, it sounds really exciting. Uh, I was saying to Natasha before we, we kicked off this morning that Sight & Sound are also looking at developing their, our own um, smart speaker skill as well. I'm sure uh, this will be um, the, the trend for, for many, many different organizations going forward. But um, there's so much scope, isn't there, in terms of content that you can include. Um, and you already have lots of content from Galloway's and Henshaw's who we work very closely with as well. Um, and Galloway's already have their own skill as well, don't they? They do, yeah. Um, so we've got, yeah. they're actually on Amazon only. So that was one yeah. of the reasons they were keen to come on board with us. So the content they've got on Amazon, they're allowing us to share through through this Google, um, Google version. If anybody has no idea what we're talking about right now, which I'm always <laughs> conscious that maybe we, we run away with ourselves, but um, if anybody's new to to smart speakers, we, we did run a session on, on smart home tech um, before Christmas. Um, but these are devices either made by Amazon or by Google, um, and they're, they come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, but this is a speaker um, that you can speak to, um, and you can add what we call skills, um, which allow you to access various content. Um, and charities like Henshaw's, Galloway's, and hopefully Sight & Sound um, will have our own skill where you can access lots of content about various, um, yeah, various sort of, yeah, parts of, of, of the organization. Um, but good, good, it's all very exciting. Um, we've got more questions. Let me just double check. Um, I think we actually have more questions relating to In Your Pocket, very, um, lots of interest in that one. Um, Louise, before we ask these questions, do you just want to chat about the sort of pricing structure for the speaker? Yeah, um, so um, whether you have a Google version or an Amazon version, you would only ever pay for one subscription. So in fact, if you have both um, systems in your home, you'd only buy one um, real sound speaker subscription. If you're an existing real sound customer, so if you already have in your pocket, um, we're charging £9.95 for 12 months for its our kind of opening year offer. Um, so that gives you a full 12 months access. There's not a monthly charge. Um, if you are a brand new customer to Real Sam, then the price is £19.95. Um, and again, obviously that gives you a full 12 months. Um, in year two, we'll, we will have um, slightly different pricing. We'll have month to month pricing available as well. but 
we're conscious that people are signing up to the very first release if they sign up in in March. So um, we have put some well, what we think is um, generous pricing around that in in year one. And as I said, we're we're looking like we're bringing on a major audio um, book library. So so that represents good value compared to, uh, or we think it does compared to what you may pay for other audio book um, subscription services on on smart speakers. Plus the um, the fact that we'll keep building and developing this over the next few months as well. Yeah, so we'll have all of that information available on our website. Um, as I said, we've currently got a, a, a test beta test pilot running behind the scenes to, to iron out all the little tweaks of um, our purchasing process. But um, our intention is that the 4th of March is when we'll be releasing to the, um, to the general public. Um, so it will be on our website from them. Great. Thank you. Well, we're excited to see how the launch goes. Um, I've popped some links into the chat box, everybody, if you want to um, access the website and you can have a look at the phone. Um, and there should be information about the speaker on the website. Is there already? Yeah. Um, well, what's actually on there already, and I can share the link in this chat in a second, oh, is great. an invitation for other partners who may want to host their content through us. Oh, so great. if anyone is watching and they do um, represent a, an organization, then yeah. we'd be really keen to have a chat um, about helping you to share your content. So obviously that includes you guys. If you've got some information that you'd like us to host, then um, then we're doing that for organizations um, free of charge. Um, so um, yeah. just let us know if there's audio information that you think we can help you with, with sharing. Um, that's definitely. definitely i think we'll be chatting <laughs> we'll be chatting more about that for sure um great well thank you for that so yeah just to sort of jump back to the uh to the phone uh yeah michael is keen to ask um what happens after the two-year contract with the phone um yes. the so, device what happens to them so after the two-year contract the user's um, contract automatically rolls on a month-by-month -month rolling contract for as long as they require. Um, so still, for example, if they're on the $25.99 a month plan, they will continue to pay $25.99 a month for as long as they want to. Um, if they want to cancel at any point, they only have to give 30 days notice. Or they can renew their contract for another two years and receive a new phone um, with, that, with that contract. Great. Thank you. Hope that helps michael um michael's also asked about what version of android do the handsets currently run or do they do they differ the two handsets um i don't know i don't know that answer to that question i'm sorry no. um no that's okay that answer louise um i actually don't 100 percent know i think um we can take, we take that offline and find yes. out for you yep no that's fine i can We're see i can see probably be irrelevant anyway because of the software's obviously That's, not yes. tapping into the Android anyway. So I, I, I don't yeah. really, supposing it was running Android 4, I don't think it would be running anything as low as that. But, you know, yeah. if the software was working, then, you know, I, I don't really see that the Android matters. But that's maybe just me. Yeah. No, no, that makes sense, doesn't it, Stuart? Um, yeah, because the, so. <laughs> but yeah, no, just, because the real Sam uh, or the In Your Pocket um, platform um, sort of, you know, controls the phone. Um, yeah, the, the yes. version of Android, I suppose, is is, is irrelevant. Um, but we can try and find that out for you, Michael, if, if that's if that's. Um, yeah. Yeah. No yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, and I think, guys, we've pretty much covered. Oh, actually, um, there was one I missed. Sorry, Sarah. Um, Sarah's asked, is the is the phone included with the RNIB grants criteria for accessible phones? Do you know anything about that? Um, Put you on the spot. But. Um, I don't know. Um, um, no? I think they would have to contact RNIB yeah. directly and ask them because we, we, we're not involved in the RNIB grants. So I think that's a question to the RNIB. Yeah, yeah. Okay, probably best going direct, Sarah, yeah, for that one. If um, with them, yeah. It would, I assume, it would make sense that it that, that, yes. that, that it was. Um, yeah, good. And I think that's about it. We've just about covered it. Uh, yeah, and everybody, Louise has popped another link in the chat box. Um, if if you you or your organisation that you represent is interested in partnering with uh, with it, Real Sam, then yeah, uh, get in touch. Good stuff. Well, that roundly sums up uh, uh everything that we we 
we wanted to cover it uh, in an hour, which is fantastic. Uh, usually we, we run miles over and uh, people start dropping off and, and going back to work, um, which is great. <laughs> um, Michael's just put, Stuart says the phone is locked down. So Android question. Yeah, good. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, just reiterating the Android question. Good. Well, thanks so much. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to share with us um, before we, we wrap up or have we, we've covered everything? No, I think everything's yeah. covered. So yeah, just from our perspective, it was great to be invited to come along and we're happy to take any questions from anyone if they think of anything after you know the, the meeting, they want to give us a call, then um happy to take a call later on or later in the week. Great. Yeah, yeah. If anybody does a you know, if any questions pop up post session, um either get in touch with me or the two Stuarts and we can direct them to Natasha and Louise, or um I'm sure you can find some contact details on the website as well um great thanks rebecca really helpful rebecca said thank you um good so before we wrap up um just a few announcements um obviously from us uh, we've got lots more sessions planned um next week um stuart l who's had to leave us um um, but Stuart Lawler and the Sight and Sound team will be running another webinar Wednesday session on the 24th of February. Um, and this is a rerun of a very popular session that they've run a couple of times. It's the Sight and Sound Tech Surgery, and it will feature um, Will Burton from the Sight and Sound Technical Support team. Um, so he's um, one of our gurus who will be able to answer all, any a range of uh, different um tech questions um, that only techies like Will can answer. Um, so yeah, if you if you like to join that session, bring all of your questions um, and, and uh, Stuart and the team will answer them. Uh, good, so that's webinar Wednesday, which is next week. And then the week after that, we've got another social hub session with uh, myself and the two Stuarts. And we're, uh, we're going to have to do some work for the next one, or Stuart Lawler is anyway. Uh, Stuart Lawler is going to be presenting a demonstration of um, some software called Studio Recorder, um, which was developed by the American Printing House for the Blind. Um, and it's a powerful digital recording and editing software package, um, which is geared specifically for making recordings of spoken word uh, it includes features not found in similar programs um, and it's primarily designed for the visually impaired. Um, so that's called Studio Recorder. So anybody in podcasters or um, anybody interested in audio recording, digital recording, then um, please do come along. Um, Stuart Beveridge, you ran a session, didn't you, um, featuring Gold Wave um, last year, which was really interesting. Um, yes, and I actually now am using a studio recorder. I've been using it for a couple of months, and I am actually working on a podcast project as we speak. So it's really, really good. Uh, so, you know, if, if you have any interest in you know, audio editing um, or, you know, creating audio content for whatever reason, then come along in two weeks' time. Great. Yeah, thanks, Stuart. Yeah, so lots of exciting um, events to come. Um, if you, if you, I'll be sending out information about the um, Social Hub session. Uh, any webinar Wednesday information you can find on our website, social media. Um, if you go onto our website, you can actually um, add yourself to, to mailing lists as well. Um, good got all that out of the way just to finish with thanking louise and natasha thanks so much for your time we really Thank appreciate you. it um yeah and um we hope you'll come back um, yeah yeah yes, we will. we'll come back with the version of the speaker that's fully launched and fully ready <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it just restores my faith that it doesn't just happen to me um you can't get rid of us that easy <laughs> no no definitely not um I fancy a cinnamon swirl now as well, Natasha. Uh, oh, they're ready, um, actually. Save me so, one. Yeah, Save I will one. do for the next session. <laughs> Good. Good. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate it. And um, thank you, Stuart. You've uh, you've thank had a, you. a nice, relaxing session. Yeah, I'm starting to enjoy these webinars now. The pressure's <laughs> off. <laughs> I bet. I bet. You sat on the beach with your guide dog. It's great. Yeah. Um, good stuff. Thanks, everybody. Take care and Goodbye. stay safe. And we'll see you all soon. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.